in essence, we're souls. We're souls, who, and we've all forgotten that we're a soul. And you think you're a body. That's, that's the mass hypnosis. So the way Cottrell presented it, that, again, according to Casey, the only sin of man is selfishness. Selfishness means, you know, I, I separate it. You know, I think I'm it. It's not, it's not about us to the selfish soul. It's about me. So until you get over the part that it's not about me, that it is about us, you suffer. Two and a half months ago, I had a young man, um, Miles, who worked for Douglas for about six months. So I was giving a workshop on Atlantis in Egypt, and he came over to me and said, did you hear this guy Cottrell? So I said, no. I said, I never heard of this guy. And um, he said, he's like, Casey, da da da. So I said, all right. So I went home and I uh, Googled it and I YouTubed it. And then I downloaded about three of his books that night, read it. And then I got in touch with him the next day. Because I'd always been looking for someone like Edgar Casey that was alive. I made an appointment and we sat and we talked. And he did the thing with the uh, dousing rod and uh, moving it. And I kept watching his arm to see if he was faking it. <laughs> and, you know, I'm from New York. And, and then he said, you try it. So he gave me the dousing rod and I put it in my hand. <laughs> it just stayed there. And then he took his hand and he put it on mine. It was like electricity shot up my arm. So I said, okay. So I said, this guy's got something. From the spiritual perspective, understand as one gained this information about changes in the world, the renovations in that of the scientific, religious, arts, political and commercial worlds, there can be some fear. But from the spiritual, there is no fear. Self meeting self. Self meeting those conditions that it has aligned itself with. Don't be afraid. Be aware.